And I'm joined live on the telephone by the host of Inside the Actors Studio, James Lipton. Mr. Lipton, I'm not sure if you were able to, to hear that commemoration in Hollywood. You know, I've seen, I've seen you interview Robin Williams, um, and I think you have some remarkable insight into the kind of talent that we've all just lost. And no matter who I speak to, no matter how many people I overhear talking about this news, everyone seems to feel the same way no matter how old they are, uh, no matter how young they are, no matter their demographic, everyone feels like we've been robbed. We have. Uh, someone has been taken away from us. Uh, it, it's always a tragedy when someone goes uh, and when we feel a sense of loss. There are a few people who are so exceptional, who have given us so much, so generously of themselves, that we feel something which is beyond a sense of loss. Beyond, uh, 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 beyond even the tragedy of the moment, uh, we have lost a, a part of ourselves, which is what he became. Great actors reach inside themselves, and they take out something which is so personal, so real, so authentic, so deeply felt, that it, it leaps off the screen or off the stage, and we feel it, too. Uh, people speak of knowing him. With Robin, you somehow felt him. You felt him. He, 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 he was there for you in a way that no one else was, not a member of your family, not a loved one, not a great uh, star or a great, uh, a great icon. He was a part of, he became a part of you because of the authenticity of his work, both as a comedian and as an, and as an actor. Uh, other people have made that leap from one to the other, but he did it with 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 such and you know such a long James the the one thing that I think a lot of people are trying to wrap their heads around there are some celebrities who are on a path of destruction where you know news of of any kind of crisis might not come as a surprise, but with with Robin Williams, it was no secret he had his his illnesses, but he seemed to be so candid and so methodical about treating them almost as if to suggest we were all safe that he was going to be okay he you know what he said to me on my show uh, we were talking about his drug problem he had been very open and frank about it on inside the actor's studio and when i asked him about it he said for me the greatest drug of all is creation because you can create you get the same kick because evolutionary wise your brain gives you feedback when you create all of a sudden you get a little endorphin buzz uh, and, and then he spoke about uh, how he had conquered his his demons and he said it was great to have full tenses again once i cleaned up unfortunately he there was still within him a, a torment that he kept from us. One of the greatest gifts he gave us, I think, was to spare us his suffering and to give us his joy. That takes a lot out of you when you do that. I'll it bet. means you're bottling it up. You're keeping things inside yourself. In order to spare other people your torment, he did. He spared us. In the end, the one person he would not spare was himself. And I, that, that's almost embodied that in a question that you asked him. In fact, I, I'm, I'm living and breathing it through the memory of your question when you said, if heaven exists, what would you like God to say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Do you remember asking him that? I do, and I remember his answer, and I'll never forget it as long as I live. He said, he wanted to hear God say, there's seating near the front. <laughs> the concert begins at 5. It'll be Mozart, Elvis, and one of your choosing, or... Just to know there's laughter, that would be a great thing. Just to hear God say, two Jews walked into a bar. <laughs> How do you know well, that verbatim? You didn't skip a beat. You didn't miss a word. Well, because he, he, he's indelible, isn't he? Yeah. We forget nothing. And I can tell you one thing. I believe at this moment that if heaven exists, God is laughing very, <laughs> very hard. We James. cry, God laughs. You know, I, I look at comedians today, uh, John Stewart, Conan O'Brien, Jimmy Fallon, um, and I wonder how much of those, how much of their talent is derived from him. He just, he was so pervasive through all our lives in such a great way. How can they not have somehow fomented what they were? 
he influenced a great many people. He influenced everybody who came after him. And he himself was greatly influenced by Jonathan Winters, who was, say, who was someone who is largely forgotten today by young people. But Winters was the same kind of improvisational genius. And his life was an improvisation. I worked with Johnny many times, Jonathan Winters, on the Bob Hope Show. And he, he could do that, too. Both he and Robin were able to take anything, any moment, any word that you said, and turn it into the most hilarious comedy. That is a great, great gift. And he inherited that from Jonathan Winters, and he passed it on to others. Uh, the improvisational skill is is probably inborn. I don't think it can it can be it can be honed, but it can't be it, it can be taught only to a certain extent. Then then genius takes over, and in Robin's case, there was always always that genius, and always now we know always that tormented person. The two lived side by side. In the end, the tormented person was predominant, to put it as, as mildly and as politely as I can. And, but but the, the other person, the person who could go anywhere, do anything, say anything, and make it, turn it into something that would make us better, make us happier, make us scream with laughter, that, that side of him was what he presented to the world. That side of him was what he gave us. It was an enormous gift. And it turns out that it was at an enormous cost. I'm going to end this interview the same way I began it, saying that we've been robbed. We've been robbed of a remarkable soul. It uh, doesn't matter how old you are. Everybody seems to have a feeling, a thought, and, um, and a heartache over the loss of Robin Williams, age 63, and certainly gone too soon. Um, James Lipton, thank you, sir. Thank you very much.